Welcome back to Cryptos R Us. I am George. We're all George. In this video, I want to talk about Bitcoin. What's going on with Bitcoin? Why is it so stagnant? And are we about to see it go up? So let's talk about what's going on with Bitcoin, this FUD around Binance, and all the other things that are going on today. So, the first story I want to talk about is this, SVB. I know you guys are sick of hearing about SVB. I am too. But today, you have FedBar that actually testified and actually revealed a little bit more into the collapse. And it's scary. It's scary. The very first day, SVB lost $42 billion, which by itself is already horrible. But the reason why they were bailed out by the Fed and FDIC is because had they not done so, a hundred billion would have left the second day. That would have been 142 billion leaving within two days. That's why they decided to step in because they wanted to stop this bank run because that would be absolutely horrible, horrible for a bank to lose 142 billion within a couple of days. Now, fast forward today, you guys know SVB was bailed out, basically forced to be sold to another bank, right? Even so, even so, uh, the Fed still holds a ton of assets on their balance sheet. Who knows how much they are worth? So this saga is certainly not over. And here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. Look at that. That looks pretty bad. You know what that is? That's the chart of SV Bank. SV Bank actually opened up trading today. Today's the first day and it fell 85%. Fell $228. So definitely uh, the strength, the confidence um, of this bank ha have left completely, completely. So this shows you how fragile the U.S financial system is how fragile the banks are and the fed fdic treasury and everyone else in between are trying their hardest to protect the banks to restore confidence and you know with, with testimonies like this certainly not helping not helping this is the reason why i've been saying why the cftc is targeting binance right now but the good thing is with this fud around binance the possibility that CZ and the previous compliance officer, they may be held liable. They may need to shut down Binance at U.S. They may need to just pull all operations out of U.S., right? Uh, despite all those things hanging the balance, you know, Bitcoin is still holding very, very well. In fact, right now, Bitcoin, oh yeah, that's really dirty. I know some of you guys mentioned that. I'm sorry. Uh, but right now, Bitcoin is still at 27.4, still coming up from its recent low of about 26.5. So despite all the FUD, Bitcoin is still holding its own because there are a lot of people that no longer trust the banks. And here's another example. Look at Bitcoin's performance, even though it has fallen a little bit. Look at that compared to gold and look at that compared to cash, which is suffering because of inflation. And look at that compared to stocks, which has basically gone sideways. This is for this month, okay? Yes, Bitcoin had a lot of volatility, but still, despite it all, it's still up about 19% versus 7% or 8% for gold versus one for stocks and minus 1.64% for cash. So think about that. And of course, recently MicroStrategy did show that not only are they able to per, um, to pay back that loan, they also bought more Bitcoin. So this is, of course, very positive. It shows that a lot of people are not giving up. And as for Bitcoin itself, oh, that looks much better. Yeah, see, I just cleared my screen with a flip of a switch. Uh, this looks much better. <laughs> um, but as for Bitcoin itself, still doing its thing holding up really well and if you're thinking that somehow bitcoin has now been invalidated its path to to uh its path going upwards the cycle all the fundamentals 
everything that I've been talking about, if it's somehow been invalidated, now it's going to collapse because the Binance FUD, you are wrong. Bull market is still in effect. We are definitely still recovering from bottom and nothing has really changed. Besides, you're given more time to DCA Bitcoin while it's cheap. It's really that simple. Here's another Here's another one or another oscillator that is showing that Bitcoin is still going upwards and we're at the very, very start of it. So fantastic, fantastic stuff. And here's another one. Here's another one that is looking at the hash rate. Of course, I mentioned about hash rate recently. Um, it's sky high. The miners are not giving up. And here's something really interesting. You guys know AI is hot right now, chat, GBT is hot right now. If you ask chat, BDT, chat, GBT, uh, it will tell you to buy Bitcoin. It lists a lot of reasons why. Decentralization, security, privacy, accessibility, low fees, speed, innovation, anonymity, political freedom, experimentation. I think chat, GBT is right. If ChatGPT says it's right, then it is right, right? Uh, Circle announces that they will be launching USDC on Cosmos. Right now, there's a little FUD around USDC because there's, you know, this whole thing about uh, whether or not we should trust them because they have $3 billion locked in SVB, right? I get that. That's warranted. But for me, I, I, I still don't trust USDT. I just think iFinix... And Bitfinex can't be trusted, but uh, as for right now, we really have no alternative. BUSD, although it's there, is shrinking, it's being phased out. USDC is here, you have USDT, right? There's really no other major stablecoin to trust. Look at this, Do Kwan tells the police he was surprised, surprised uh, that he's being arrested. <laughs> this is the funny thing, he was using fake credentials to try to leave the country. So how could he be surprised? Is he that delusional? He told the police he was getting VIP treatment everywhere else, so he's surprised he's being arrested. I don't know if this guy is delusional, a liar, or what, trying to compensate. It doesn't make any sense. And the other guy that we are not fond of, SBF, uh, you know what? Supposedly, he's charged with bribery of Chinese officials. <laughs> it seems like SBF was in everyone's pockets. He made a lot of donations to congressmen, congresswomen in the United States. Now he's accused of uh, bribery of Chinese officials. SBF is in deep, deep trouble. <laughs> and we're learning more about him every single day. Bitcoin is holding strong and starting to recover. SV Bank is still horrific and FUD around the banks is still rampant. So stay with Bitcoin. Bitcoin is still on its way upwards. It's still recovering. And it is the only way that we can opt out of the current financial system, the current tyranny of the banks and central banks, so stick with Bitcoin. Smash the like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.